We didn't have quality control before. No, we did not. This is actually brand new stuff. So I'm going to do one more Steradin run here. And if I die, then I'll switch things up to Half-Life. And if I win, then it'll be like midnight and I'll be done with the stream anyway. So that's uh, that's pretty much the uh, plan for the rest of the evening, in case people want to know. Yeah, I've never had quality controls before. Oh, oh, oh. I got a gun bot. <laughs> I got a bot. So, uh, you know, I was saying I might lose this game. It's not gonna happen anymore because I got gun bots. They're like, pew, 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 really, really fast, and there's like a little bunch of little body boys. I'm glad that there isn't like a, a like machine gun sound for the bots because that'd be really annoying. No necro dancer for the full salt triple uh, combo platter. <laughs> Bird, do you check, uh, con do you constantly check the Steam new releases, because you do? Uh, no. Uh, actually, I, I sometimes do. I haven't been nearly good about checking that in a, checking that in a while. Like, I, I should, though, but whatever. Oh, crap, it's the Flower of Death! No! It's, uh, it's as beautiful as it is deadly. Just like Femme Fatales and, uh, Poison Dart Frogs and other such sort of things. Uh, I can just blast the shit out of this guy, though. That takes care of that. Bird, I should do a 76-hour streak. Uh, since Waffle is the one who's recommended, I assume that you mean streak in the nasty way. Uh, what will I play after this, Bird? I will play Half-Life 2, maybe. Don't go streaking for three days. I don't know what that means. Oh, you're telling me to not, uh, to not go streaking. Oh. Bird should do a 72- a 76 hour stream. No. Okay, uh, glad we settled that one. All these upgrades suck. I wonder what Keep On Shooting After Swap even does. I'm gonna try, but whatever. But yeah, no- no Necrodancer. I don't know. AlphaBetaGamer.com. You check that as well as Steam. You know, I also check, uh, another good- great resource is, uh, itch.io. Like, that's, a uh, that's, like, that's, like, an easier-to-use Desura or something like that. I don't really know how to describe it, but I really like Itch. And it's one letter off of Twitch, but also, like, a couple other letters off of Twitch because of .io. So, I don't really know where I was going with that. But, uh, I like it, and that's where I found some games like Superstar Path, which I had a really fun time playing. And they got a patch lately, but it didn't change very much. So, I, I enjoyed Superstar Path, but a lot of people were like, meh. Which I can totally understand, because it was basically bejeweled in, in, uh, in a space shooter form. Which I thought was super interesting. But even still, by the end of it, it's like, oh, okay, I, I kind of get the gist of this game. I think I might be screwed in terms of getting through that without taking any damage. Bird, I should pretend to be a dinosaur for the rest of the stream. That's my best dinosaur impersonation. Or I could interpret dinosaur as, like, you know, old person be like, Hey, everybody, we're playing Stoughton. I remember how to play video games. Video games, when I was a kid, we had Pong. Uh, when, and computers were made out of orange juice. <laughs> that game looks good. Ah, I'll check that out some wags. You usually have uh, given me some very interesting recommendations in the past. I still need to play uh, Toho. Like, I took a break from playing a lot of uh, shooty, shooty schmuppy games for mostly because I was waiting until I got my controllers and now I have my controllers so I should play the shit out of games like uh, you know Ikaruga and stuff like that because Ikaruga would probably be considerably fucking easier if I have a controller uh, old bird yeah <laughs> people like when bird does random voice acting even if bird thinks he's actually pretty terrible at it but for whatever reason people just seem to really like it computers were made out of orange juice who knew I mean, that that's why when people, when Apple came out, it was, like, such a big deal, because it was, like, you can make computers out of apples instead of orange juice? Like, damn. Uh, Jurassic Park reference, anybody? Like, oh, life finds a way. Yeah, I don't know. People think, uh, people really seem to enjoy the, oh, bots. Oh, bots, I'll take you. Yeah, 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 the bots. Uh, people seem to think that, for whatever reason, my per impersonations are funny because I have a good sense of humor or some stupid bullshit like that. I don't know. I, I, I'm just like, at this point, I think I've literally exhausted every single, like, voice acting, like, voice that I have. And, uh, I have a lot more than I thought I did. 
but I really have, like, exhausted them all by now. And so, like, at, at this point, I'm just, like, cycling through, like, the old ones in, in the hopes that no one notices that I'm just recycling the same voices over and over and over and over again. Though I think that's a different old voice. There's, oh, I do have two old men voices, don't I? So Bird likes to be surrounded in, surrounded in bullet games. Yes, I do. Like, I do, I do have two old po person voices, don't I? The other old person voice I have is when I'm just like, I remember when there was a, when rainbows were invented by Mick Jagger in 1962. And before then, we had on the color TV, we just didn't have any rainbows at all. And in the science textbooks, they said that rain wasn't even a thing yet because we didn't have, you know, Mick Jagger making it rain on all the prostitutes back in the world's first strip club in 1960 dickity. The first strip club was uh, was called the Club to Asshole, and uh, I was the first patron. I went in and I had my fedora. I went up in those ladies and I said, "My lady, would you care to show me a little bit of ankle?" And she was like, "I, I'm gonna give you the fucking of a lifetime." And boy, howdy, she did. And that's how I met the grandma. Okay, that was. That was fucking weird. <laughs> Bird, do you play Battle Arena to Shodan 3? No, I don't fucking know what that is. Bird should teach history. Uh, I don't think I should teach history. <laughs> because I'll be tempted to do it in character. That's the fucking problem. So, like, people, like, I'll... Uh, like, I, if I were to teach history class, you know I'd come in, like, dressed up as fucking Ben Franklin and shit like that, and be like, We can't found this country on principles of war, but we also can't found this p country on principles of not allowing prostitutes everywhere. I'm Benjamin Franklin. I don't actually know what Benjamin Franklin s sounded like. Fucking excuse me, there weren't- we didn't have phonographs at the time. Whoa, what the fuck? That was weird. That boss was like, I'm gonna go over here now. You ain't gonna see me coming. This boss is strong to bullet types, I think. So he's kind of a pain in the ass. Whoa, that's a weird attack. I think if I just uh, keep swooping around and keep poking him in the poopals, I'll be fine. Just be Abraham Lincoln. What did Abraham Lincoln say? He was like, he was like, four score and 70 years ago, our forefathers founded a nation on principles that every man should be free. That is all I know of the Declaration uh, Emancipation of Proclamation. Uh, Schwiggity Schwooty coming for that booty. Well, I don't think that Abraham Lincoln ever said that. Uh, if you were to teach uh, Waff Waffle, if Waffle were to teach history, he would apparently uh, come in dressed as the doctor. Which one? Absorb labors temporarily. I'm going to take that one because I like that one. Ugh, gotta stretch out the hand real quickly here. This is what I do. Eh, okay. Big Bird's Big Book of Dickery. <laughs> uh, it reminds me of a high school joke that I told. Or I guess I should say a joke I told in high school. I don't know what a high school joke is. But I, 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 was, I originally wrote something called uh, uh, Adam's Big Book of Bullshit. And basically, it was an encyclopedia where every single entry was a lie. So I would say things... I, I, like, I, I only ever wrote one entry. And it was about the king bee. And I was like, the king bee is the largest bee. And basically, I would look up like a, ton, a shit ton of bee facts. And like, like try to make up like what a king bee would be like. And that's why I know so many fucking bee facts. Like, if you want to know about honeybees, like, I fucking know a lot about honeybees. It's ridiculous. And I don't even like honeybees in the first place, but I learned a shit ton about it, and for whatever reason, I've never forgotten details about honeybees. Perhaps a different doctor for every day of the week. <laughs> you want to? You would want to watch Old Bird talking about video game history? Oh my god, that's a brilliant idea. Like, what if I played? Oh my god, what if I played DOS games, and the whole time I just pretended to be an old man playing them? <laughs> oh, ooh, that's a delightful idea. Like, oh, this is my favorite computer game. It's called Zork. And what you gotta do is, you gotta use your imagination. You see, two, 
in a text-based game, so you gotta make sure that you got a keyboard hooked up to your Apple II. And, and then it'll say stuff like, please enter your name, and you gotta remember what your name is. So I got a little post-it card taped to my monitor that says, my name is, uh, is Atticus, Atticus Oldman III. I also put down my grandson's AOL email address, but he says he doesn't use it anymore. I still, I still think I can forward all this stuff to him. They call Bird the Bee Man because he gets all the honeys. Oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> how droll waffle. Or, or like Oregon Trail. Like I remember when I was on the Oregon Trail. <laughs> <laughs> oh, when I went on the Oregon Trail, I made sure I carried my grandpappy's grandfather clock with him. We called that the great 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 grandfather clock. Anyway, we used it to tell the time, and uh, and and uh, and we had a little oxen that we called Magic Ted, and he broke his ankle over in Fort Jackson, Missouri. Anyway. What you gotta do with this game is you gotta make sure that you don't get cholera. And a good tip for avoiding cholera is to make sure that you don't drink any of the brown water. Yep, that would be it. <laughs> Jesus, that would be really funny. An in-character RP LP of uh, Oregon Trail. <laughs> Try to make it like an educational thing, but get all the facts wrong. Like, or Oregon was made a state back in 1712. <laughs> it's just stupid shit like that. <laughs> and I got... Ah, oh, man. If you lose the post that you haven't written on your underwear label. <laughs> like, whenever I forget my name, I just check the underwear. That was a Simpsons joke. God damn it. You just quoted the Simpsons at me. Granted, that's a really good Simpsons joke, but still, that's just what Abe Simpson did. And then he pulled off his underwear without taking his pants off. And then Lisa was like, Grandpa, how did you take your underwear off without taking your pants off? And he was like, I don't know. Or something like that. And, uh, you know, that was silly Conan O'Brien joke. For people who don't know, Conan O'Brien actually started out as a uh, writer on The Simpsons. And for people who also don't know... Uh, Seth MacFarlane started out as a writer for Two Stupid Dogs. So these are weird facts about cartoons. Rocketbots. Rocketbots! Yes! Oh, I don't know why I turned into, like, like a devious Elvis there. Like, oh, uh, that joke didn't really make any sense, but trust me, it was funny to me. <laughs> so for the people that laughed at it, you know... You're the you're the true believers in that one. I I, I like that joke, but fucking that, there was no way that that one came out good. <laughs> uh, did I? Don't watch it. Well, then, uh, purple, you are able to, uh, you are able to um, <laughs> uh, be a writer for The Simpsons. So you're gonna make me have an asthma attack with the old man ramblings. <laughs> yeah, people seem to like the old man voice, especially. And, of course, there's also, like, my Office Space Milton impersonation that people really fucking like. I'm like, I, 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 I'm, I'm playing this video game and I don't believe that I should be... I, 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 I have a problem with the amount of violence that is in this video game. I think that I should be able to, to have a, an open dialogue with the, with the, with the pirates. Is they, uh, excuse me, pirate. Oh, oh, uh, oh, dear, this is not going particularly well anymore. People like that one, but that one's kind of passe. Seems like the old man voice, though. That's that one's never gonna die. Man, this uh, this rocket bot sound effect is getting really fucking old, really fat. Just oh, that's new. Hey, he has a new attack. A much much easier to dodge attack. I actually like this attack way better. Like his old attack sucked ass. This one's much much fairer. Uh, I like this a lot more. Also, his uh, shields tend to stick around a lot longer. Well, that went well. Matt Trey and, uh... Matt, Matt Trey and Parker started off making films, so go up, uh, look up Cannabis the Musical. What happened to the old, retired, misogynistic war general voice? 
Wow, that's a... Uh, that's a joke I don't fucking remember making. <laughs> Uh, I like, uh, I, you know, it's gonna be like in six months, someone's gonna ask me, like, what about your libertarian dog from, um, from, uh, I Am Legend voice? It's like, fucking, you know how many jokes I make on a single night? I don't remember this shit. Like, honestly, if I tell a joke and nobody laughs at it with it, like, immediately, I basically forget that I told the joke in the first place. Because <laughs> I'll just seem like, oh, well, okay, that one's done. And then, like, somebody, like, a couple seconds later may say, like, oh, I get what you said, and I'll be like, what did I say? So, that definitely applies to, like, the weird concept-based humor that I use, that I sometimes employ while, uh, while, like, doing commentary over video games. You know, just, like, when I, when I talked about, like, making my commentary better or whatever, it, it was, like, a nice, true, like, return to form to just, like, just kind of be, like, a little bit stupider and just, like, incorporate more, like, creative, like, weird jokes that I wasn't really doing nearly as much because I was being too serious. And I was like, oh, I must talk about the video games and the merit in their artistic, uh, fortitude and how none of them have anything because critics shouldn't like anything. I don't fucking know where that one was going. Why not combine both voices into one? Uh, what were the voices? Like, libertarian dog old man. Like, like the d libertarian dog would just be like a Bitcoin guy who's super into Dogecoin instead. And if he's old, he's like, I don't, I don't trust the government. I don't trust banks with my 401k. So I, well, I guess it'd be something stupid like Paul 1k. So I, uh, I put everything into Dogecoin. You should do that too, Jimmy. But uh, I dropped frames again. Man, tonight has not been my night in terms of, like, Twitch behaving and things going smoothly there. But, whatever. So, yeah. What happened to the old retired general voice? I really do not recall what context that came up with. But, uh, I can probably... Oh, God. Oh, God. The reflector shield enemies are just as big of dicks as they were beforehand. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's up with that one. Okay, level 99 Paladin. This is where I have to actually try again. Here's the, And I'm doing the double bot strategy, which I've never actually tried on this boss. I think it should work just fine, but we'll see. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. I've kind of forgotten the pattern in this guy a little bit. Then again, uh, also the double bot strategy does have something in, nice about it, wherein the uh, bots do continue to do what they did beforehand, where they uh, block, block bullets every once in a while. So that was pretty nice. That was pretty nice. Yeah. <clears throat> like, I think I think old men voices are a hell of a lot of fun to make. I also like uh, like uh, like uh, the big boss man type of voices. Like, my father founded this newspaper company back in 1912, and I will not have you denigrate his reputation, Cynthia. Shit like that. I don't know what, who Cynthia is, but I assume she's like the person who fucked up. That's an old ass joke. <laughs> this is me just retelling a joke I told in high school. So, might as well explain that one because it's actually really fucking funny. There's this video online where, um, there's like this, uh, local news anchor who's got a segment about a, uh, blind climber who basically was the first climber to uh, tackle Mount Everest or something like that, and he also happened to be blind. Um, those are kind of significantly tied together for why they were making this uh, news broadcast about this person. I digress. I'm going to get my ass can kicked. <laughs> oh, well. Fucking, okay, at least this game's hard again. So that's kind of nice. This might actually convert into a win. Never mind. Cool. Done with this game.